I am going to tie up a cherry picker hair there. The hook I'm using is a Gamagatsu size 12 S10. The bead is a 3.25 millimeter tungsten bead. I'm going to add a little extra weight to this as well. I'm using 0 .020 lead free wire. Let's go ahead and wrap this on. I'm going to push that to the bead and then give it a couple more wraps. We want to leave it a little extra space for the tail to tie it in. That's probably good. Thread I am using is UTC Ultra Thread, dark brown, size 70. I'm going to tie in a tail I'm getting from a hair's mask. The color I'm using is natural. Right around the nose area is where I want to trim this material from. It's going to have a lot of fuzzy stuff on it. Don't worry too much about it. I want the tail to be about the same length as the body. Let's go ahead and tie this in. Looks about right. Make sure that you tie this tail in nice and tight. You pull on this, nothing comes out. Going to use extra small gold wire for the ribbing. And then I'm going to make a dubbing loop to dub the body. Get my thread out of the way. All right, so the body material is a pre made dub. It's the sparkle stuff you see is angel hair in pheasant tail color, and the rest of it's just hair's ears that I pulled off that hair's mask in that natural color. I just blended it. So let's go ahead and apply or get this dubbing in the loop here. uses a fair amount of material. It's, you want this to be pretty buggy. Now the body, when you wrap this, you don't want to taper it like you would a normal nymph. You want it almost like a bugger, woolly woolly worm. You know, just a nice uniform body all the way to the bead. A little bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and twist this together. You don't want to twist it too tight. You do want to brush this out. It's probably good. Let's go ahead and wrap it. All right. Tie off your dubbing loop. Give that a few more wraps. Secure that in. And we're going to rib it now. Yeah, no worries there. this a few more wraps. We're going to whip finish this. Make sure your bead's not going anywhere. Looks good. Last thing you want to do with this is brush it out. So I like to use this big gnarly brush. You can use Velcro or any other dubbing brush you wish. And go ahead and just brush this thing out. The buggier, the better. And 
and that's a cherry picker hair's ear. Pretty good attractor patterns, work good for still water, works good for rivers, fish think, I don't know what they think it is entirely, but probably sow bug, you know, bigger nymphs, or just any kind of general attractor. Give it a try.